Sometimes I wonder what would my life been like if I did not go here, and I can't imagine. I, like, I can't imagine putting myself anywhere else but Ohio State. Even if you have no aspirations of playing college football, being born in Ohio, you want to go to Ohio State to go to Ohio State. The second that they offered my scholarship, and I basically shook his hand and said, thank you, yeah, I'm in. He said, hey, easy, calm down. Why don't you go home, talk this over with your parents? And I said, all right, I will, but yeah, I'm good. Don't, don't take my scholarship away. So there was no question that that was the school I wanted to go to forever. AJ, your first game here, that was an unbelievable experience, not only for me, but the entire family, because it was a pilgrimage. And then seeing you come out of the tunnel and then getting to see you get playing time on the field at your first game. I loved every second of it. Coming in my freshman year, we went 14-0. My second game, I got an interception and returned it for a touchdown. It happened so quickly and all of a sudden, I went from being a high school kid to scoring a touchdown here. We won the national championship. And I told some of my buddies, this is great, let's do it every year. As you know, Uncle Dick, you're by far the biggest diehard Ohio State fan there is. So I wanted to definitely bring you back here, let you walk the, the grounds one more time. When, when I got the call, I broke down, man. You know that. I can't thank you enough, really, AJ. My Uncle Dick had a, a big influence on me being born into fandom of Ohio State. AJ, you know I get the chills every time I come and see this place. I mean, I've been here probably 150 times because I'd been such a diehard Buckeye fan since I was little. And I still get the chills. I still get misty-eyed. It never gets old for me. My Uncle Dick and I had a great relationship growing up, always very supportive of anything we did and would show up to our games. I, I remember him from my youngest memory of two, three years old of watching Ohio State games and seeing how much he cared about watching the games. They don't do weddings in this family in the fall. <laughs> Uncle Dick's gonna be watching Ohio State football. I look at the stadium as almost like a, a cathedral to some extent. It's just they're not holding a religious service here at all, period, but. But it is a religious service it, almost to a lot of people. Yeah, it, it really sure is. is. There's a million stories he has from this stadium right here from his life, his interest in life, going to Vietnam, coming back here, going to school at Ohio State. But it's just his passion for people he cares about and things that he cares about. Directly south of the south end zone, they plant Buckeye trees for every Buckeye football player that becomes All-American. And AJ has a Buckeye tree out there. I have four little kids now, and they don't completely understand what Buckeye Grove is, but they know, like, there's a tree and my dad's name's under it. So to get one, yeah, it was really, really cool. Remember the walk bags from the stadium back over to your house? Yeah. yeah. After my freshman year living in the dorm right by the stadium, I found this rental house without even knowing at the time. It worked out just to be one of the best decisions I made while I was at school because it was a gathering spot for everyone. You, you remember this place, oh, don't you? Oh, man. Yeah. This porch got a lot of use. You had a grill. <laughs> Chained up. Remember that? It became like the central meeting location for not only all of my family, but all of my friends and buddies I played with. And it was like, everyone's welcome here. And we never even had to say anything, but it just, it became that place very organically. We have, what, at least probably 25 family parties here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Too bad you couldn't have stayed at the school 10 years. You know? <laughs> it's really cool. Well, I think everybody in the family looks back on us. We had great times to have a place where we can all congregate and talk family stuff as well as talk Ohio State football. I know that your last home game here, it was sad for me because it was like, man, you know, AJ's not gonna be here anymore. It was weird this. for sure, yeah. it was yeah. weird. The last home game here, no question. We had a huge, if you remember, that was the biggest party we oh, had. Oh yeah, we had yeah. My last home game was my senior year. We played Northwestern. I think I was a little oblivious to everything going on, or I guess I didn't give it much thought, just being younger and naive. But I'm sure that game was probably a bit of a battle for him. I have emotions, excited we won, excited about everything, but sad that it was my last game. Yeah, it's you know, it's it's like an ending. You know, it's it's going to end. This is you know, we're not going to do this. I still remember walking back to the the house and hugging him on the driveway and he was crying and held me forever, uh, which was awesome. But, whew.
You know, it's, it's probably a good thing that guys don't realize it, that it's that big a deal until afterward. When I was playing in Ohio State, if I knew how big of a deal it was, I think I would have been a nervous wreck. My time at Ohio State 100% made me better. As it made you grow up, if you go to college, you become a man. I mean, it's shaped who you are and really laid the foundation of what I do as a dad now. And I have guys like my Uncle Dick to thank for making it a no-brainer to come here. It means a whole lot to me to be able to do this today. I just love it, man, really. Can we do it again tomorrow? <laughs>